What? Hello to you too. What? E squared over here is off to a great start. What could you possibly want? The same thing that your little hamster wheel of a brain wants too. Research, answers, website views, it works. What? Pick a different word. Am I having a stroke? Is this me having a stroke? Relax, Edgar. I'm here on official business. Research call. I honestly do not know how else to respond to that besides... What? Well, I've been assigned to help you with research on a new information. That sounds fake. Could be real. Could be fake. Who knows? Um, Abby, probably. Look, you need some help sorting through tiny words and file names. Don't play Superwoman in front of me. It's me, after all. Besides, I figured I'd give those two some breathing room. What do you mean? The lovebirds. Since when are they lovebirds? Well, hopefully lovebirds to be. Listen, you've only got three friends. If I'm here, it can't be that hard to figure out. What's the deal with them? Are they, like, going on a date or something? No, we're getting there. Maybe. Abby wanted to talk to Morgan about something, so I bat out. What are they talking about? Are you a busybody or are you jealous? I don't know, are you an actual asshole to me? Or are you using the preschool coping method to mask feelings? Oh, ha ha. I'm not hearing denial. When did you suddenly grow feelings for Abby? Or is it Morgan? Fuck off. So it can say big girl words. Are you actually here for research or to mess with me? Well, the only thing I have prepared for you is a list of dumb words that start with E. I want you to rate them on a scale from 1 to 5, how likely you are to respond to the name on the first try. Oh, Jesus. Earwig. Seriously? Take your time. You're obnoxious. I could just rattle them off. There's eBay, ebony, egg, elastic, elementary. Are these in alphabetical order? Eyeball. Is this how you pick the nickname Eve? No, because my name is actually cool. Right. Why'd you get a Sofrika's burrito? Did you stalk my Instagram? You seem like a white meat girl. Well, considering I haven't eaten meat since sixth grade. You're a vegetarian? Hence the Sofritas. Shit. Problem? No. Here's a question. What do you think happened to our missing girl? She went missing. Yeah, but did she get jumped, killed, or kidnapped? Jesus! Off the record. I think she's missing, and I hope she's okay. Well, you're clearly chasing the treasure hunter theory. Ever see a pirate movie? People are always waiting just around the corner to steal your map and anything you know. This isn't a movie. Wouldn't know that with all the sensationalizing you two do. That's right, I use the journalist word. Congrats! You can read a BuzzFeed article. And no, we are not sensationalizing anything. Could have fooled me. You sound like Morgan. And we've circled back to the jealousy thing. <sighs> I am not jealous. There is nothing to be jealous of. I think we're handling this the best way we know how. And yes, I've noticed Morgan's attitude problems. There's a thing called fishing for a story. The story already exists. We're just trying to help. You sound like Abby. Mature. Have you even dated a girl before? Would you even know how to do that? No, I have not dated anyone before. Yes, I have been on dates. It's not that difficult. With who? None of your business. Do I know her? First of all, no. Second of all, why do you assume it was a girl? I thought you were gay. I'm Pan. Peter. For fuck's sake, do you even know what that is? A uh, made-up internet way to call yourself gay without committing? If we were not on the computer right now, I'd jump through it and kill you. That's not what equality is about. Pansexuality. You asshole. I restate my case. I could like anyone. Well, aren't you high and mighty? I just don't care about gender. Some people like a specific gender, or more than one gender. With what I assume is two dates, tops. Yeah, because of course I need to actually go on a date with someone to judge how sexually attracted I am to them. So, roughly, what is the breakdown of the Emily alone time? I'm seriously going to fucking kill you. You're gay. That's great. It works for you. There are other identities out there. Yada yada. You know, you're allowed to not be sarcastic or disaffected about everything. 
I know it hurts your pride to admit you got schooled. Listen, I'm putting you on my phone. Would you prefer egg burrito or ear condom? How did you get my number? Wouldn't be your tech gal for nothing. Sadly, I must bid you adieu to go play with the grown-ups. Thank God. Goodbye. Enjoy your...